Hey everybody, Mr. West here. I found something I think uh, quite a few people might be interested in. Um, most of us when we're building uh, from scratch, uh, carbon fiber is, uh, is a good thing, right? Carbon fiber is a good thing. And when we're talking about doing uh, twin boom or a single boom with a tail section on it like that, um, a big fat tube of carbon fiber, super light and rigid would be really swell, right? Well, those are kind of expensive, and uh, there's there's not a lot of places out there that uh, has it super super thin wall and light. Um, yes, it's there, but it's very expensive. So, here's a solution that I found uh, while strolling through Walmart. Uh, go back to the uh, fishing pole section. You can see that, right? It's called a Black Widow. It's a ready rig. It's a fishing pole. Okay, and it's your... It's like a, a single line and bait cast kind of, a, kind of a rig. It gives you a, a little kit, basically. Um, so line, hook, float, and a sinker ready to go. It's a 10 foot length. That's three sections. And I'll show you that real quick. So at the bottom, it has like a um, cane bottom. or You could use this kind of like a cane. And then it has a rubber plug at the other end. So this is what the pole looks like. Extended. And again, it's 10 feet long. All right? whole lot of material here. I'm going to save the best for last. Check this out. Take the bottom off. There's a cap. And I'm guessing so that you can take off take out the the upper section. Alright? So what do you got here? I got a hollow lightweight Tons of material boom right there. That's a single boom. Put two of these together and you got a twin boom. It's a good dimension. It is very light and it's very rigid. Alright, so I'm gonna put that aside. And then there's another two more sections, right? You got a, a tip section. Here's the tip section. It has a little rubber plug in it which can come out real easy. And then the front front section, which joins or slips right here this front section. Now this this bit right here is still hollow and it's very flexible. Don't know that it can be used for much, the tip section, but the back, or excuse me, the middle section is is pretty rigid, it's pretty light. Um, I would say it would work for twin boom for sure, probably not a single boom. You know, like a single bo boom in a standard tail configuration. Definitely twin boom because the two of them would uh, lend strength to one another and be all cool. Okay, so I just wanted to show that. And then, uh, so the the kicker is is that this kit at Walmart is less than eight dollars. <laughs> yeah kind of crazy. Anyway, it's there. Go to the fishing pole section. Go to the poles only section. There's poles and, and uh, reels on one side and then there's just uh, rods only on the right hand side. And you have the most expensive end towards the front and then you go all the way to the back end and you have the bamboo fishing poles and you then have these fiberglass uh, carbon fiber uh, units right here. Uh, and so, actually, this may be uh, just black fiberglass, but I don't think so because this is... No, in fact, I can see it inside now, now that I've looked. You've got true carbon fiber here. Uh, the description probably will say it, too. Made in China, of course, right? And it's made by um, www.bnmpoles.com. Let me see what else I can see. 
Yeah, it doesn't tell me. There's also a 13-footer as well. I don't, I don't really see the point in a 13-footer because this main section right here is more than enough for a boom. You can get a pretty giant-sized bird if you use all this. Uh, most of my, most all of my stuff um, with a 60-inch wing is going to have about a 32-inch long boom uh, mounted under the wing that runs out to under, completely under the horizontal stab. So there you go. There's a little quick update, throw that out to everybody who's uh, trying to find some good uh, carbon fiber stock, cheap and easy and lightweight. Check, uh, check Kmart as well, I have not been there for, uh, for this purpose or to look, but I'm going to guess they have pretty much the same stock, just different brands and maybe even the same brand, I don't know. But that's a regular price, 8 bucks, $7.96 I think it was. Alright, so there you go, thanks for watching, West out.